Hi everyone, this is Janice. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a vlog while I'm grooming. This is a new client. This is Nebula. She's a little, what are you? Palm a pool, I believe. That's a Pomeranian poodle. Pretty sure that's what she said she was. If not Pomeranian poodle, Pomeranian Shih Tzu. Pomeranian mix is all I know. She's really sweet. her out and bathed her and dried her already so now we're just working on cleaning up her eye area so I'm taking the clicker here and just kind of scooping out right there by her eyes okay that's it yeah so that's where I'm at how is everyone doing today I'm doing really good today for once <laughs> usually um I have off days yesterday was an off day today's not so much but I feel good. I haven't done any vlogging for quite a while, so I thought, well, maybe I'll try vlogging while I'm grooming. And well, I'll give you an update of my life if you're interested. This little girl's in heat, so hopefully she gets her fix. But, but, uh, you know, it's not really healthy to have a dog, a whole dog, because it ends up getting sick and having health problems later on in their life. And she is a mixed breed, so you know, that's just my opinion. I don't think we should be breeding more dogs unnecessarily. I, I believe in um, rescuing, and if you want a purebred, um, quality purebred, you know, then that's fine. Get it from a reputable breeder. Because I'm one of those. I like. I like purebred. It's not that I don't like mixed, but I just like to know what I'm getting, compliment wise, basically. And that they're really healthy, because a lot of your purebreds, for the most part, if you give them a good breeder, they've got all their health checks, their DNA, and all that they're guaranteed healthy. Um, unless some unnecessary accident happens, but they're healthy. So on my last little, my last few dogs, this is what I did. And um, so far, so good. I got a 13 year old Spanner Poodle that does have lung cancer. It's a slow growing tumor. Uh, she's been sick with it for about two and a half years. Not really sick, but you know, she slowed down. Right now she's near her end of life. She's losing weight no matter how much I feed her and she's comfortable. She still likes to um, be with the family. She does sleep a lot, but she goes outside and you know, she doesn't really play anymore, but it, it's close. I'm probably gonna have to make that decision here within days. And I'm not happy about that. That's probably why I was down yesterday because you know, that really wears on my psyche to know I'm gonna lose my precious poodle. She's she's part of the family. She's like my daughter. I have a video of me grooming her on my channel. I will link it either in the cards or at the end. If you watch to the end you see suggested videos. I do as a do a one or two videos there. If not they're in the cards. Uh, yeah so if you're interested in seeing her. Like an itchy nose. So what are we gonna do? We want, we are going to do a longer, longer cut on her. Her mom wants her about half off. So I'm gonna play around with some guards. These are my guards. Let me try. Let me see, I like to go long then shorter because, you know. You can't put hair back on. So I think that one's too long. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Oh. Getting old, Janice. Getting old. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do an A guard first. That is about. How long are you? I forget. Three fourths. 
So that's a nice length. However, I may want to go shorter. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, put that on my clipper. Got that on 40 blade. So it's nice and, cut it nice and smooth with the guard. So she's not going to be cut down with 40. <laughs> I use a 40 to help this guard go through easy, easily. And she's not matted at all. I gave her a nice conditioning bath. A little bit of conditioner. Then I used the spray conditioner to help the little tangles that was left and it left you really good. I hope you can see me. I'm on my phone, not my camera, so I can't zoom in. Well, I can, but um, I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah, this, okay, this is fairly long. Let me see here. Tell you what, I'm gonna try that zero blade, which is five eighths and see if that's a little better. I don't, I'm taking hair off, but um, my back hair can go shorter. Sometimes I sculpt, most times I do. In certain areas of the body, I'm going to go a tad short to make it look balanced. So yeah, she's definitely in full bloom heat. Yes, ma'am. Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Okay, I think the zero is good. Sometimes I need it all done and say, oh, I can go a little shorter, but I think I'm getting half off at least, so I'm not gonna do it any sure. I'm gonna put this A over here. I might do that in the very front. So let's go ahead and take this noose off so I can get to her better. I don't know if you like my grooming vlogs or not. Let me know underneath in the comments if you like these or enjoy them. Um, I like doing a few here and there. Kind of keeps me company talking to you guys. It's lonely in here grooming alone. Well, I can talk to the doggy, but you know what I mean. I don't work in a grooming salon anymore. This is at home. And this is a, a room off the back of my house. This joint to my home in the garage, and uh, it's heated. It's very comfortable. It's like a rec room, which means recreational room. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you know what that means, but just in case, you never know. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, so she wants her white. Make sure that's left. So I'm going to probably just taper that in with my chunkers, our thin end scissors, blend it in. So I make sure I don't cut that white off. Just blend it. Okay, sweetheart, going into your chest. She's really being good. First, like I said, it's the first time I groomed her. Oh, I love when I get a well-behaved puppy dog. Yeah, and she's not that old. I don't know how old she is, but she's fairly young. Definitely not a puppy. But um, she went down the street and some of these bigger salons, they get busy and they don't get back with the customer and then the customer, you know, gets a little upset because they haven't called them back to schedule their appointment. I mean, sometimes I miss my calls too and it takes a couple of days. It just happens. That's part of it because we, we, we're doing a lot and sometimes we just forget. So it's, I don't blame the salon. They probably just, who knows who's minding those phones. Sometimes you get help in there who don't care. <laughs> and the owner doesn't even know it. I know that happened with me a lot when I owned the salon. You know, I would they'd say, hey, I already called blah, blah, blah. A few days ago, you haven't gotten back. I says, oh, I didn't know, you know, that I had no idea. And I said, Whoever listened to that voicemail didn't write it down or call them back. So that's probably what happened. I know we get busy in this this profession. It's a high high demand profession. 
If you want to be a groomer, I guarantee you, you'll have a job. That's your very good groomer. Um, this. Uh, oh, I can't even think. <laughs> this career choice is not like the word I want, but it's definitely a um, very lucrative. I've done this for my whole entire adult life. And I never had any problems finding a job doing it. Odd times, I had to work two different grooming salons if they couldn't hire me full time. Uh, and I go way across town, not far enough away, so I wasn't, you know, interfering with their competition. I know sometimes you don't want to do that. So I would uh, work two jobs just so I had one full time job. I did that most of my young adult life. Then at nights, I used to waitress. So I had three jobs most of the time while I was raising my children. I had three children. Um, they, my third dad and me got divorced when we were very young. And um, I, got no, I got hair up my nose. Sorry if I'm itching my nose. But anyway. Um, We uh, parted ways and he kind of went off and traveled the world and so I didn't get any financial help from him at all. So I did it myself. And yeah, you part Palm Rain because you see the short tail. See how short that is? And that's all plume. You're gorgeous. Yes, you are. She wants a Palm Rain face, so. I'm gonna do a scissor that real short. Try to make it look like a little Pomeranian. But anyway, back to my story. I raised my children on my own. My family did help take care of them, help me out financially as far as buying them clothes. I mean, I, I had them in clothes, but sometimes I couldn't afford, you know, enough. And they'd buy them a few things here and there, not a lot. I think my parents, weren't well there either, you know. So, but they did help, and they helped me raise them. They took care of them when I worked. And then when my daughter, oldest daughter, got old enough, she babysat them. And uh, it worked out. I would groom during the day while they're in school. And at night, I'd come home and have dinner with them, spend some time. Then I go work my night shift at my restaurant. They um, get themselves ready for bed. They're really well-behaved children. Oh my gosh. I mean, you can ask some more perfect kids. And uh, they go to bed. They don't go to school on their own. You know why I work late? I mean, I'd get up sometimes to get breakfast and my daughter would say, Mom, go back to bed. We got it. <laughs> She's so sweet. She's very um, helpful. I felt guilty, but I had to pay the bills. I had to make sure we had food on the table, clothes on their back, rope over our head. And I worked um, jobs where it was very low wages. Waitressing, you don't get paid much, you work for tips. So that's how we made it. And I made it fine and um, I enjoyed, I actually enjoyed working. I didn't begrudge anybody for that. I, I like being out with people. And if I wanted a social life, I'd make sure my children were in bed. It was late at night, like 11 o'clock. I sure didn't take any time away from them. I should say children, but I think they were teenagers when I did this. They were well old enough to take care of themselves. But I'd go out for a couple hours and just, I had a couple cocktails, went dancing, you know, things like that. Nothing, you know, I wasn't a big drinker. I just liked going out and socializing my friends and that's what we did that's what we did back then and you know that's back in the 80s that's what we did i love dancing I mean, if you know 80s music it was fun music to dance to i had fun um get up the next morning for work grooming after the kids went to school i usually didn't start grooming until about 10 so they were uh, already off to school that's what i did it turned out really well all three of them are successful adults 
my oldest. She brought, she has my other grooming shop now. She owns that and doing very well. She's a wonderful groomer. And then my boy, he he went in the Navy and got a nuclear profession. He works in nuclear energy. So he works at a nuclear energy facility there in Illinois. He's pretty high up in the company. Doing really well. Then my youngest daughter, she you know, helped me out with grooming and stuff and she was all enough and then she decided she wanted to be a vet. She didn't want to be a groomer. I don't blame her. That's, you know, hard work and not that much money. But um, she wanted to be a vet. So she went to college to be a vet and she's a veterinarian. She's doing very well for herself. So, so proud of my kids. So proud of them. And I did this on my own. So I'm proud of myself for raising them. I, I ran a very strip ship in other words they had rules and they had chores and responsibilities and they did them i said we are a team we're a family but we're a team we gotta help each other out and they did and i don't feel they begrudged me for it sometimes you know they missed me sometimes they wished i could be with them more at home but i what time i had with them was quality I had I had to do it and I felt horrible but I could spend more time I look back at it and I wish I could have but I did the important things with them and then my during the summer when I was working my family actually we took them places took them camping you know Cedar Point you know different places so to make sure that they were having a childhood this is because I was working and it's not like I couldn't do some of that I did I made time. I, I These jobs I worked were um, jobs I could finagle my schedule around doing things with my family, and I did. So they, were, they weren't three full-time jobs. They were three part-time jobs. So quite um, flexible in what I did. Okay, that's enough of that story time. I just kind of want to make this less boring for you to watch. But I am about halfway finished with this little puppy dog. I'm gonna cool off my camera here for a moment and I'll pop back on in a few minutes. This is Nabila. Finish. She's got one ear up, one ear down. <laughs> and it's uh sometimes these little mixed breeds they have different hair texture. <laughs> it's all over the place. So, um, but this is the finished product. Come on, sweetie. <laughs> she's so cute. Look at it. I don't know if you see. She's got, I got some lights on. I don't know if you can see her very well. But uh, she's such a good girl. Aren't you, Nabila? She says, I'm going to go home. I let her mommy know so when she calls, get that on my face, <laughs> that she's finished. Her mama went on another time to go get something should be back well this is my little short vlog I don't know if you like hearing about my past I don't know what you want to hear but if you got any questions for me um, that you want to hear about my life or or anything my opinions of things I mean, what else do you talk about life about <laughs> about your life about what's going on in the world which I'd rather not talk about but I'll talk about pers some personal things. I mean, I'm not, I don't get too personal because pro of privacy reasons. Of course, I'm sure we're all like that. We're very protective of ourselves. But um, I'm a pretty happy person. I have days where I get down, but it's just mainly aches and pains of growing old. But I'm pretty healthy. I'm very um, independent, very driven, ambitious. I feel I'm fairly smart. I don't know everything, but I've lived a long time and what I do know, I'm pretty quite you know, smart in what I do know. I'm not a genius by no way, no. I'm not saying that, no. I, I don't even think I wanna be. Um, yeah, so that is a little short vlog about my grooming day. What are you calling yourself, sweetheart? Oh my God. 
to them. I'm gonna put a bow on her collar. And so say goodbye, everyone. This is my grooming. Bye. Bye, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Like this video, that really helps a lot. And comment, do you like this sort of thing? If not, it's fine, just let me know. I won't be, my feelings will not be hurt, trust me. Um, as long as you're kind. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that is it. So we will talk to you soon. I'm gonna do some other videos a little bit later. Yeah, you sleep. Okay, everyone, bye. Bye.